All right, hello everyone and welcome. I'm just going to wait for things to get kicking here before we get started. So feel free to hang out for now. We'll have a little chat and then we'll jump into the uh, editing session. Fair one, let's let me, let me know how my mic's doing. Am I too loud? Am I too quiet for y'all? Just let me know. I guess I'll need my headphones right now. How's it going? BAP SD, MRD Visuals, what's up? Thanks for coming back. Sly Ghost, what's going on? Jack Hoos, how you doing? Hey. Hello from Alaska. That's pretty crazy. What's it like in Alaska right now? Hello from Spain. How you doing, Spain? All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we're going to jump into it today. Uh, so in last week's stream, if you were not here, uh, last week we edited some of my photos from start to finish. And someone had suggested in the stream to go ahead and edit their photos, which turned into a stream of where we will be taking your raw photos and edit editing them from start to finish. And over the course of the past week, I've received some hundred odd submissions, which is amazing. Thank you guys for sending your photos in. So I've picked about 20 out of that 100. That way there's some variety in the types of photos, nighttime shots, daytime shots, uh, cell phone photos, and amazing big raw files, uh, stance cars, and supercars. That way it keeps it interesting all the way throughout the stream. Okay. We got the cat on deck. She just knocked out after trying to knock over the uh, the light setup I got to my left here. All right, I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. Just uh, let people get in here, get warmed up. Evolve Media, how you doing, Lewis Morris? Thank you for the submission, man. Irby's, how you doing? Felix, what's going on? It was a little laggy. Uh, it might kick back up. I, I did get that notification, but uh, I, it seems to be streaming on uh, good health right now. Evolve Media, what's going on, man? K-Series guy, thank you. Uh, an a7 with a kit lens is a great camera to be filming with so i would definitely stick with that if you want to get a little more variety for your filming i would get maybe a telephoto zoom like a 7200 danny condi what's going on man hey gabe's in the chat how you doing oh we got chris under his itouch ipods alias in here okay All right, let's get a kick in here. I did not mean to set the rating to one. How often am I doing this? I'll be doing this. Uh, my goal is a weekly basis, and next week we will be doing video submissions. Uh, you've been seeing them on Chris's channel, and we're going to start doing them over here as well in addition to the photo series. So if you want to submit a video for next week's stream, the link is in the email. It's houseinphoto.live at gmail.com. Send one video, try and keep it a video under five minutes, and that's about it. I did see your Mazda 6, uh, Gappy, greatest gap of all time. Basic Media, what's going on, man?
Random auto video, North Dakota. That's pretty wild. How's the weather in North Dakota right now? Okay, before we get 100% started here, let's pop on some tunes. play this nice and low in the background the boy Felix from the Netherlands dead crow that should be nice and low for you guys check out this EP dead crow on SoundCloud purge.zip EP great stuff also has anyone gotten a haircut because I haven't gotten a haircut I think since like mid-February and then last night uh, my girlfriend and I gave an attempt at cutting my hair and it didn't turn out terribly. I don't know. Uh, the back is right here. It looks good. And then when you get to the back, it's uh, kind of a mess. So that's why the hat's on for this one. All right. Audio check. Okay. All right. Let's get it kicking, guys. This first submission is from, I don't know if I'm going to say this wrong, Bien Chappelle Law. Uh, so uh, any of the file names you guys see, that will be their name there. And then it will be followed by their Instagram name if they provided it. And me I don't know if this is an FRS or a BRZ, but uh, same thing. Sorry. All right, so let's take a look at the photo. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful shot here. Uh, I like the use of it being vertical. Very clean, no obtrusions. Uh, sticking out from the car and this shot is damn sharp like wow extremely extremely sharp uh, BN if you're in here let us know what lens you use for this one that'd be very useful information for a lot of us get Photoshop kicking hey Mike Devine what's going on man Connor what's up dude Jack buzzed all of his hair, damn. Nikurasu, uh, I am the only one behind Halcyon. No team here. I mean, there's times where I work with other people, but uh, the entire face and all the videos, for the most part, are just myself. Okay, I'm gonna leave Photoshop open for us to get the files from. Okay, I did it again, didn't I? One day I won't forget. I gotta get a stream deck, guys. Okay, so here we're talking about. You know, it's funny because the monitor's right there and you'd think I'd see it in my peripheral vision, but I don't. Okay, so. Alright. As I was saying earlier, we have this absolutely beautiful shot from BN Chappelle Law. BN on Instagram with the two ends there of this FRS. Uh, so beautiful, absolutely beautiful photo. Nothing sticking out of the roof line of the car. Absolutely gorgeous landscape, all color, all great color. Uh, the lens on this must be very good because this is tack sharp. I mean, look at this. So BN, if you're in here, let us know what lens you use for this and let's get to work so I mean overall it looks really good we're gonna do some coloring adjustments it might be a little warm purple um, maybe take care of some of these reflections here I'm gonna try and spend about 10 or so minutes on every photo between Lightroom and Photoshop that way if we get through all 20 photos that's about three hours or so on the stream all right let's get to work here Drop the exposure down a bit. Let's see what happens. Oh. All right, if we take the highlights all the way down, that's exactly what we need. Bring this guy back a little more and bring back a little more detail in the body panels there. 
right, we lose a little bit of the rear end. Let's see what it looks like if we can bring that back out. Oh, yeah. All right, so we'll probably do two exports of this with a little bit of different settings. For the most part, we'll get some uh, color adjustment in Lightroom, but the vast majority of it is going to happen over in Photoshop. Now this grass is in either very old and not taken care of or in true Sony fashion, uh, not as green as we'd like. So let's see if we can get that over to a little more of a green scale while we're here in Lightroom, maybe not. All right, we got a little split tone going on. try and keep the whole tone of the image real warm. <clears throat> right. So that's about it. That's all we're really going to do in Lightroom here. All right. Exporting when we're always exporting from Lightroom to Photoshop, we can either do a TIFF or P, uh, PSD file. I just do it as a PSD anyway because typically I'm working with layers, and my, it might as well just be a PSD from the get-go. Who is in the chat that had submitted something? Yes, Caleb. <laughs> so it's a, uh, yes, Caleb. Yes, you can submit for next week. Next week we will be doing, in addition, a video stream. So you can submit your photos or video for next week's streaming. Uh, the email is in the description. Is houseinfoto.live at gmail.com. Uh, RAWs are preferred, but JPEG is okay. We have some JPEGs in this uh, segment. And if you weren't in here earlier, we had about over a hundred submissions, and I chose. 20 to start with uh, and I chose a variety just based on different types of photos whether that is um, a nighttime shot a daytime shot a static shot a rolling shot stuff uh, on a beautiful sunset or stuff that um, you know it's cloudy out uh, just a whole different thing bunch of things to work with supercars stance cars all that Lewis I did see your submission Evolve Media hit me with the knowledge. Caleb, uh, okay, cool. Basic Media, yeah, I did see you. Uh, did see your submission. I did see some drifting shots, so thank you guys for submitting. Appreciate that. Okay, let's get to work. All right, so I'm gonna start with a new layer. Let's see what we can do a little more with this guy. Get a gradient going. So I'm actually going to do it as a dark blue of sorts. I don't want to lie. I just want to bring the eye in towards the center a little more. Not too crazy, but I think the majority of this photo will be working on these reflections here, cleaning those up, and we gotta bring in a second exposure here for the rear. Matthew White, what is up, man? LP Productions, hey, how you doing? Hope everything is all right over there in Italy and you guys are past the uh, worst. Wait, I'm gonna try uh, Evolve's Export E. Uh, maybe not. Thank you for that, though. All 
Okay. Let's keep it going. All right. First thing I'm going to do is adjust and bring over this rear section for our darker image. And we'll do all the blending work when we get back here. BN, if you are in here, let us know. This is a great, absolutely great shot. I'm sure people would love to know the details of what lens you used, uh, what camera, all that good stuff. It wasn't, uh, it was an ARW file, so I know it's a Sony RAW, but the uh, details on that would be killer to have. Okay, so we have this rear layer here, and we are just going to get a big eraser, eraser brush going with a zero for the hardness and just kind of whisk out the edges. I don't need the spoiler to have any more exposure to it necessarily, so we don't have to worry about that. see what it looks like before and after just you know not nothing too crazy just a little bit to kick it back up so we don't lose any of the detail in the rear and now we can see everything going on with the diffuser a little better we'll also erase out the tail light because it's not really doing too much for us being more overexposed layer mask honestly I just this is the way I learned it and I played around with layer mask and they really I, don't know, I didn't really see the difference like it's helpful in the case of going back and readjusting things but for me I kind of just commit to where I'm going with it and then I usually regret it later but Dead Crow's playlist is absolute fire. Iker, hello, how are you doing? I don't know if Ilker? Sorry if I'm butchering your name. All right, so we gotta do something about these reflections. Uh, I love the accent they add. We can clearly tell the sun is over here and it's really brightening up this side of the car, but they're just a little messy, a little uh, kind of all over the place. So we're just gonna smooth them out. We're not gonna get rid of them by any means. So I'm just drawing a ruler line down here, kind of for the section I wanna get rid of. And what we will do So we're just going to lasso out an area of the car here, layer it via copy, kind of start dragging it over just to feel it out for now. Okay. Just turn the layer on and off to uh, get a check of where I'm at. Little Lambo, hey man, I'm doing good, how are you? Cam's in the chat, how you doing? D Jordan Media, what stabilizer do you recommend for film? Uh, yeah, Ronin M at the price point it is now. Uh, it's hard to beat, that's for sure. You could go with one of the uh, one arm gimbals, but if you're trying to rig it out, you'll be much happier with uh, the Ronin M. Hey, Javi Bear, hey. How's it going, man?
Oop. I hit the wrong key. Also, guys, soon I'm soon enough. I'm gonna invest in a more of a like a boom microphone that ends up right here. That way, you guys don't have to hear me clicking away. Uh, the USB cable for this mic is only so long, so I can't get it further away from the mouse. So I'm sorry, you guys gotta listen to that. So that bottom one is looking a little better. Thing we'll do here is grab our clone stamp, just gently feather in a nice clean line. much better and then these are really throwing we're still gonna come back over on this way work on this a little more but these ones as well are uh, giving me a little problem for me it's just like gimbals like the Ronin M uh, Movi M5 you're just going to be much happier once you start rigging the camera out with microphones. Uh, maybe if you're a wedding video videographer and you're tossing a light on there, it's just going to be able to take the payload much more easily. And then when you're doing things like rolling shots, it's going to stand up to wind resistance much, much easier. So right here, I'm just trying to create a patch to work with. Has anyone in the chat been working on any new hobbies since we've been uh, locked down? Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys are learning in this uh, spare time we now have. So when it comes to kind of cleaning out all this, what I basically start by looking for is a big patch of usable data in the photo. So that's what I'm on the hunt for right now. Once I find it, I'll kind of explain it a bit. So let's say I want to clean up this like ghosting right here of the reflection of the clouds. I have this big patch of clean orange to work with. So I'll grab the clone stamp and kind of you need to adjust the size and the feathering to taste for each situation. But we'll just gently knock that over.
Let's see. Gaming on your PC. That's cool. The only thing I play is GTA 5. I would love to play get some other games. Chris keeps trying to get me to play Warzone. I might just have to soon. Been learning stock footage. That's a great idea. Uh, I've been very tempted to jump into the city and uh, film the streets all empty and start uploading that for some royalties. 3D modeling. That stuff is hard. I've played with Blender a little bit, but not, not much else. Proper composition, yeah, it, it absolutely is. Woodworking, that's pretty cool. Two quick picks, if you learn that, maybe you'll be able to like build people's uh, subwoofer boxes for their car. Need for Speed Heat? No, I do not, unfortunately. Can you react to my your, uh, GTA 5 card? It so, guys, if you just jumped in the stream next week, we're going to be doing in similar fashion to this, where I'm I won't be editing them, but we'll, like uh, if you're in Chris's stream, we will be reviewing uh, and watching your videos. So if you would like to submit to that, the email is in the description below. It is houseinfoto.live at gmail.com. Try and keep them under five minutes, the submissions, and only submit the absolute one you'd like to have uh, played on stream. I don't want to make the choice for you. Rotational Media knows my alias. What's up, dude? That's an old one. I would love to keep this line here going. And then we could spend hours on this photo kind of cleaning up all these, you know, they look like uh, when this light hits a car right and the car isn't totally clean or maybe uh, it's just not detailed properly and it has like kind of these uh, spider swirls. We could spend plenty of time cleaning all that up, but probably just do some color balance on this and call this one finito. I do want to get rid of these trees though, they're really bothering me. So I'm going to take a nice big patch of data we have here, not do that. MJF visuals, thank you, man. Yes, we are doing pretty well over here. Not too much to complain about. Didn't want to do that. Efren Rays, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Okay, so we're getting somewhere with that. Uh, the most used aperture I shoot in probably, I mean, I don't have uh, a G Master for my Sony, so honestly, I'd probably stay around like F4, 5, 6 a lot of the time. When it comes to like photography, I don't like bokeh too much. Let's merge all that down. Uh, so I kind of translate that into my video stuff. I don't really shoot too shallow, it's just a personal preference. Just kind of want to blend these two palettes together here. Alright, this could use more love and some more time, but I'm going to wrap this photo up here. I think after the stream I'll probably go back and work 
on these a little more and then send them back to all you guys and uh, post them up that does need more love so I'll leave it there let's jump back so here is where we started actually you know what? let's give this a little let's give this a little color balance Astral what's up man hey if you guys don't know Astral's music he is in the chat right now uh, I'm sure some of you have used him for your edits before he's uh, from the this is our time video uh, the last scene in Toon Philly 2017 who made that crazy absolutely crazy track show him some love let's see where we're going here Oh, the grass. I wanted to take care of the grass. This grass is bugging me. So you guys keep telling me all the shortcuts, and I appreciate it. I know what? One day, I will sit down and memorize all the shortcuts for you guys. Oh yeah, and speaking of Astral being in here, shout out to the boys. Oh, wait. Shout out to the boys over at Liquid Ritual. Oscar for the dope hat, appreciate it. Super good quality. Camera settings for shooting video, I would love to show you, but that the camera that the the majority of my videos are shot with the Sony is filming me right now, but I try and stay in S log uh, for most of if I'm shooting during the day. If it comes to nighttime, then I am back into Cinephore. I can provide the more detailed uh, settings that go deeper into the menu if you just want to shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm all over the place here. I totally forgot what I was doing. Okay. All right, and then lastly, before we close this one out, let's get a little linear dodge burn in there. That looks terrible, just give it a second. My CPU is actually kind of bugging right now. Hey, Nero, thanks for waking up for the live stream, my dude. Appreciate it. Were you taking a, a midday nap, or what time is it where you're at? There we go, just a little something right there. All right, so we will toss that in there. Okay. So here's where we were before. And after. So nothing too crazy. I do want to spend more time on this one before I send them out. I would like to work on that side door more. Maybe color grade it a little more. Nothing too crazy. This shot is beautiful off the bat. Alright, so I'm going to move Lightroom over while I pick the next one. That way no one gets a little preview of what uh, what's coming. All right, so we just did a vertical shot. Let's do a horizontal one. And 
I gave you the preview anyway. All right. This one comes to us from, I'm going to butcher your name, I'm very sorry, Josh Joseph Glasnovic. And I don't know what this car is, so I just called it Vintage. All right, so I love this, taking advantage of an opportunity of maybe walking down the street and coming across like an old junkyard, old shop somewhere, and just making it work for you. So let's give this kind of like a desaturated vintage feel to go along with this car. I'm sure someone's going to school me very soon in the chat as to what kind of car this is. PC setup is a Intel i7-6700K with a MSI GeForce 1660 Ti, um, SSD, 64 gigs, Corsair, RGB RAM. Handsome, thank you very much for becoming a member. I will talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Um, PC specs and a Asus Prime Z170A motherboard. Uh, I do want to upgrade the CPU and motherboard very soon. All right, so since Handsome broke the news, thank you very much for joining the Lucky Cat community. Uh, let's jump into it here. So if you guys are interested, we are going to do a members only section of the channel where you can get your text highlighted in green, custom badges, emotes, and we will also do a once a month live stream where we can go over more in depth on your photo and video work. Uh, it's a lot more personable. That way you guys can send in more work for us to critique. And in, in addition, we'll have a private Discord server where we can chat all the rest of the time during the month in between those live streams as well as uh, for these public live streams you can get um, priority above everybody else so with this photo stream we had some 100 odd submissions and that was a lot to go through so if you join the private community in these public streams you will be moved to the more so front of the line so to speak and you get a bunch of cool uh, little lucky cat emojis handsome if you're still in here uh, drop some of those new emojis for us how do you take a picture of a car with the lights on uh, you could turn the lights off or make sure try and go somewhere that uh, has an equal exposure so like maybe a parking garage Uh, I'm looking at getting the AMD. I'm going to switch to AMD, I think. I was really a hardcore Intel fanboy. Uh, but I think I might end up going AMD. And I'm probably going to get the 3900X. And probably like an MSI um, X570, I believe. Mingan, thank you very much for joining the Lucky Cat community. If you did not hear the air horn, you get there's an air horn sound when you join. You should do it just for that. Bingon, uh, drop some of those emojis. All right, where are we at here? Oh, there we go. I'm liking this uh, yellow on blue look. A loving the emojis. I'm gonna add more. I just kind of like wanted to get started figuring it out and whatnot. Has anyone clarified what kind of car this is? Yes, 3900X doing it. I was gonna get the uh, 9900K from Intel, but they just they're so ridiculous on their prices, and I don't know why they haven't dropped them yet to compete better with AMD. It's insane. I think we will give this one a little crop to go along with this vintage vibe. Kevin Z, if you would like to submit a photo or a video for the upcoming streams, the um, email is in the description. It is halcyonphoto.live at gmail.com. Oh, you have to reopen the stream.
Alright, 16 by 9 might be a little too much. Yeah. Do a 16 by 10 maybe. It's a pretty good photo. I wish I was submitted a raw, but hey, maybe there isn't one. It's still pretty cool. I think for the most part we can call this one finished. Next photo editing stream will be next week as well as a video editing stream. I'm going to try and do two streams next week because uh, quarantine is fully kicking and we're not going anywhere. I could sell my six. I have a 6700K. I could sell it, but I don't know. All right, so here's a little bit before and after. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. All right, that one is finito. I'm going to bring over our next guest here. Let me know what you guys want. I'll let you choose this one. Do you want a daytime shot or a nighttime shot? Evolve media, yes. Uh, I mean, there's times where like, if I'm doing, if I'm hired to shoot a show and I'm there an extra day and I see a car I really like, I'll just shoot, you know, just because I won't charge that individual owner. Um, you know, because a lot of times I see shooting the more like commercial stuff for dealerships and businesses and manufacturers as I got that backwards. So I see like shooting the cars that we do, like the stance cars or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I see that as practice that those are methods and experience that I can take into applying it to my paid paid jobs, which are the ones that like help me actually live, you know? All right. So we got night, 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 night 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 okay all right you guys got it you guys got it you guys got it all right the delay on this stream is a little long i want to say 20 seconds or so so just uh keep that in mind on the comments specs on the cat uh she just turned five months old she is a domestic long hair so no real uh knowing of what breed she is and she's cute as hell. All right, night shot. I got a real good nighttime submission in here, but I don't want to go through it just yet. So we're going to go with this one from, you guys got names I'm going to butcher all day long. Franciscus Christian, Evolve Media. You are in the chat. I know you are in the chat. I saw your name. All right. Franciscus, is that how you say it, Evolve? I would def Toby, I would definitely be down for some uh, photos of a Renault Clio. That sounds cool, we don't get those here in the States, so. All right, so we have this photo of an Evo at a gas station and I absolutely love love the composition of this one this is killer uh it's just so simple the lighting is amazing except that one light is out in the upper right corner that's not uh, your fault though franciscus um super clean when i saw it i knew i wanted to uh, do it in this stream so let's get to work on it uh, so these are fluorescent lights up at the top of the gas station here. So they do tend to shift a little green. So let's adjust for that first. Or not. There we go. We'll go a little yellow. And we got to offset with some purple. There we go. All 
Alright, so it's a Sony RAW file, so I know I can get all these uh, kind of blown out elements back. Let's see. So this was shot ISO 800, 34 millimeter. That explains why everything looks pretty straight. Uh, 3.5 at 1 30th of a second. And for shooting 1 30th, uh, zooming handheld, pretty dang sharp. So kudos to that. This does need a little bit of a line straightening with the top of the gas station here, but we'll jump over to Photoshop to take care of that. And I think for the rest of this, I can kind of just desaturate this green. There we go. Oh, but I'm gonna lose 7-Eleven colors or no. All right, we're good there. All right, so let's jump this over to Photoshop. these out okay first thing I want to do is fix the angle of this gas station because uh, it's bugging me a little bit so you if you have rulers enabled you can drag down from the ruler to see right in here you can see the barrel distortion of the lens so we'll separate this from being a background and transform try skew first and there we go all right but now we have this uh this down here so we'll just crop this Okay, so let's clean this up. Let's look at what we can uh, get rid of here. I'm just gonna use the dodge brush to kind of bring these blacks down. There's not really much going on back there that we need to pay attention to. So with that said, this has gotta go. This has gotta go. This little thing here. And maybe that. So we'll start by just lassoing along the car. Again, I'm not going to go pen tool. I don't want to hear it. The antenna. Also, everybody in here, feel free. Uh, I already see some of you guys doing it, but feel free to check each other out, uh, give critiques on other people's photos. By no means is my word bond. So feel free to gas your boys up a bit or let them know what they could do a little bit better. Everyone in here is in here for the same reason. So let's make some new friends. So I'm going to layer this over and basically what that is when I start cloning this stuff out of the background it basically creates a safety layer for all that cloning to go underneath. Hey Hayden what's up man? Uh, if you want to send me the drive track I might have something I could use for it soon. Let me see is Dead Pro still playing? Oh, no, we got Y, though, playing now. Uh, we are just listening to random SoundCloud business. We're going to play out uh, Dead Crow, though, because he's the boy. Alright, 
thankfully since all this information back here is basically nothing we can just whoop, maybe not bring the brush size down How is the music volume? I haven't seen any comments about it, so I'm going to assume it's good. But if it's not, otherwise, uh, let me know. Oh, ruin me, dude. I am sorry to hear that. Thank you for uh, trying to become a member. Um, I hope that situation sorts out for you. I know how it is sometimes. And maybe, maybe it uh, blocked it for being a weird transaction or something. So yes, again, for anyone that wasn't here earlier, if you join the members only portion of the this YouTube channel, you will get custom badges and emotes like Lucky Cats to throw in the chat. Your text will be highlighted green, so it'll be easier to see for myself and other people. In addition, we will do a once a month members only live stream where we can be a little more personable and go through a lot more photo and video technical talk, as well as a Discord server where we can chat privately uh, in between those live streams for anything. So if you would feel uh, so inclined to join, you can just hit the join button right down below this uh, video playing and I have no idea where I'm going right now. What am I looking for? There it is. Transform. Skew. Booyah. And an air horn plays when you join. So if you want to hear an air horn. Ashel, thank you for confirming that the volume is good. Also, uh, Astral, that Skeller Dead Crow three way collab needs to happen. I saw that tweet. If that don't if that don't go down, I'm gonna be very upset. Control T for transform, but I don't know if you can change between like skew or distort or warp or uh, any of those different ones. That would be a sick idea. But I thought the air horn would be funny for the meme's sake. Maybe I will change it. Hole is still in the window. I know I will get to it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I did see that uh, Skeller had like a full time job as a sound designer, which is pretty cool. But I'm looking forward to everything. Oh, uh, Astral, I also bought your uh, sound pack and uh, FLP project, which was very, uh, very useful. So thank you for putting that out there. There we go. It's very interesting to look, uh, Astral, it's very interesting to look at your FLP project just to kind of see how you um, keep the progression going in a, in a song. So I learned a lot from that. We will clean up more of that later. All right, what else? Not too crazy about that either. 
kind of want to give this a cyber type vibe. Should we fill in the light on the gas station? Hmm. I'm kind of torn. I don't I, I assume this is the reflection of like the storefront that's going on over there and I don't mind it I just want to make it a little more uniform oh I would definitely use something like ginseng's music absolutely I have his sound pack too I have volume three I think Uh, R I J K E, yes. So if you were in Crispy Stream the other week, uh, it will be in a similar fashion to that where you send in a completed video project of yours, uh, preferably under five minutes, and myself and everyone in the stream will get to check it out and review it. What track's playing right now? Oh, yes. That's a good one. I kind of want to make this a finer point. Now I'm going to put the headphones on one ear. That way I can rock out with you guys. Uh, hated, yeah, I can definitely listen to it after this stream. Uh, if you want to grab the email, that's in the description below. Ruin me, it is completely, I could basically take this entire section over here and clone it and mirror it and basically fill all that in. But I don't know how much it's bugging me to go ahead and do it. There's a lot of yellow going on with the car. Just want to check something here. I'm gonna assume that's the reflection of the store lights, kind of making the car yellow. Oh yeah. So let's clean this up overall. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of our yellows and reds and greens that are kind of on the car here. We just gotta watch out for parts that need to stay that color. And we're basically going to select those, make them a little bit of a new layer. Are you referring to this wooden pole right here? I will probably get rid of it. Don't want to risk desaturating the tail light. Also, when I saw Dead Crow play at the Mercury Lounge in uh, Manhattan and he played this track, I lost my, I can't say the phrase, I lost it. So good. So, so good.
Matthew Thompson, uh, so if you have experience in street photography and you're on your first automotive shoot, I would try and use your current experience to your advantage. Um, don't rush it, just kind of focus on your composition above all before you start jumping in on details of the car. Uh, don't forget to kind of establish where you're at, move into the details, don't forget uh, you know, interior shots, shifting, RPM gauges, uh, engine bay shots if there's stuff going on in the engine bay. And just uh, watch a bunch of uh, other people's videos because that's kind of how I learned. I remember way back in the day watching like AWOL TV's uh, video, videos and uh, Wagon Works. And then as like things progressed, I was watching a lot of Chris's stuff before we actually met. Don't forget your SD card. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, cat's creeping onto the mouse pad. All right, wooden pole. That's pretty cool. It's always nice when people are in the position and just kind of like offer you something, even though you are okay with doing it for free. So good on him. Should I just use the, uh, that, yeah. Maybe not. Oh, no, we're good. Ooh. Hey, PV Production, what's going on, man? How are you? What was my first car? It was a uh, Dodge Neon, none other. <laughs> uh, it was automatic. Um, it was a 2002 base model that I did some very ricey stuff to because I literally had no clue what was, what was going on. Uh, I just saw a cool car on the road. I had no idea there was like this whole car scene, car industry, so to speak, you know? Uh, and then I got my second car two years later, which was another Neon, and that's when I learned uh, how to drive stick. I was 19. Just did your first shoot in Japan. I'm jealous. All right. Kind of creeping on my mouse pad here. There we go. Can we get some cat emojis in the chat? Arsenal Guman, uh, if I said that wrong, sorry. Uh, that's very true uh, for a lot of cases that, you know, I do the same thing. Just trying to be experiment here, so to speak. Show people some new things, maybe. This little random cone over here. Uh, we're gonna wrap this photo up otherwise. All right, so I will spend more time on this one like the other one as well. And then I think in the next stream, I'll show you guys the completed, completed set. And I will also send all these photos I'm finishing uh, to the respective people who sent theirs in. OK. 
Okay. Franciscus, thank you very much for the submission. I see you're still in here. So everyone go check him out, Evolve Media. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the next photo. All right, so we did a nighttime shot, a daytime shot. I don't know if I chose... All right, you know what? So we've done two photos with both very nice cameras. Uh, I also did get some submissions from people who shot their photos on a cell phone. And so let's work on one of those. Um, you know, just a quick little banger. Uh, shout out to Angel V with his Volvo S60R in this red. That's, from what I believe, probably a pretty rare car uh, by production number standard. So... I assume this is taken with a phone because of the compression and the overall size. It's like 10 megapixels or so. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Francis D, yes, I'm trying to do this on a weekly uh, basis. At the minimum, uh, every other week, if I can't do every week. Once things uh, start kicking back up after the whole coronavirus thing's over. So I actually knocked the clarity back to kind of get rid of, hide the compression a little bit from the phone. I'll give it a little fade. It does need a little bit of rotation. Hey, Mims Honda Day, what's going on? I hope you guys are faring well during these times and your events aren't uh, too held back. All right, we're sending this to right spell. Yes. I've used this song in an edit before. Shout out the voice, Dome Mist. Mars, how's this going? Give me a follow on SoundCloud while you're here. Sodium Vapor. I got a new I got a couple new tracks that are all private dropping soon. I did not mean to repost that. Or that. Or that. Uh where are my likes? I'm trying to get to my likes. There we go. Shout out the boy Marcus. He just dropped this track today. Alright, so we have this cell phone shot of a Volvo S60R. What can we get done to it? First things first. I'm gonna fix your uh, crooked intercooler. Dang, two of your events canceled so far. I'm sorry to hear that. Just gives you more time to hire me to bring me out, huh? I'm just kidding, but also kind of not. Let's make something happen. Hey, got another music producer in the chat. That's what's up. Ford text me if you'd like to submit a photo or a video for those uh, streams. You can uh, jump on down the description. Uh, email is in there. Halcyonphoto.live at gmail.com. All right, so I'm just trying to fix this uh, intercooler real quick. Astro, I will most definitely send you the tr private tracks. Where would you like me to hit you up? Because I know how it is with all like the platforms and messages and just like gets to be too much. That might be, there we go. Oh my gosh, my cursor is on a rampage.
Let's fill that intercooler out. All right. So straightened out intercooler. Uh, I don't know what these things are, but it looks like your car is wearing a hat. So let's make it not wear a hat. All right, sounds good, Ashley. Thank you, man. The compression in these is making them very hard to look at. <laughs> uh, Francis, so if you just missed it, I was actually just in Lightroom and I kind of do my base adjustments there and then bring things over to Photoshop, kind of tweak them a little more. Yeah, you saw that? I think that you dropped this track today or like yesterday, but it's so good. I definitely want to use this one for an edit. Nope. No hats. Just gotta clean it up a little bit. Actually, yo, you know what? While the boy Astral is in the chat, let's rock this one out for old time's sake. All right, we can get rid of some of this uh, yellow on the ground. Also on the intercooler, I don't know. Is that like a sw Swedish flag or a little something like that? fix your grill while we're at it so if you guys aren't familiar with kind of how to use clone stamping uh, it is this tool right over here clone stamp and what you do is you hold down alt and press and that gives you the area you want to bring over and you click to basically hide details the only problem is with Things like this, like a very small amount of information to work with and all this to cover up what some, is sometimes easier is taking good information, which is this over here, layering it as a new layer or copying it as a new layer and then going ahead and putting it over where you need it. It just takes a little finessing. something there maybe kind of move the whole thing I really want to film another video like that this is our time video it's just like so much coordination and work to like mob the streets with that many people I think we can kind of, ooh, it looks uh, not that good. 
Hold on. We just gotta fix this little spot right here. I love the switch up here, Astral. So good. I wanted to extend the video and play it out to this part too, and I had such a cool series of shots of like how I pictured it going down to this section, but like by the time we had finished filming that night, it was already 4 a.m. Okay, there we go. All right, Angel, if you are out there, thank you for the submission of your Volvo S60. Cam, yes, you can still submit photos for next week's uh, stream. The email's in the uh, description, houseteamphoto.live at gmail.com. Lexi Media, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Okay, let's get to the next one. Since I know he is in the chat, let's work on this GTR here. This submission is from Nevin Rochester, the 10 dot socket on Instagram. Uh, if you guys, for going forward when you submit, uh, include your Instagram in there. That way I can toss it in the uh, file description. That way people see it easily. Calcul calculate later? Calcate later. Uh, emails in the description, housingphoto.live at gmail.com. All right. Before we get to this one, I she is going to lay on the mouse. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom. So a little break. Be back in a minute, my dudes. Okay, so while I was gone, the cat took the opportunity to steal the chair. So it looks like the stream's over, guys. I can't sit down. I can't move her. I'm totally kidding. I'm gonna move the cat. Come on. Back in your home. There you go. All right, so first thing I noticed when I got this photo was that this GTR back here looks very familiar, and I assume this is the same location and staging as when uh, Harnet Media shot his video of Week Fest Japan. I'm getting tons of emails for submissions, so shout out to all you guys. The cat is sitting in a very weird spot. All right, so here we go. I absolutely love this photo. Uh, I did no tweaking to anything before I started this stream. I just kind of played around with it just to see where I could push things. And this photo is killer ISO 100. Uh, so. Plenty of information, no noise, very sharp, 
great shot. Uh, if you don't mind sharing, I don't see any aperture data, so if you don't mind sharing, uh, Nevin, what uh, lens this was shot on and what body. I love driving slow is now in the chat. What is up, man? Roscoe, I hope you're doing well. I hope the events, uh, you're finding ways to uh, work around what's going on right now. All right, so we have this huge blown out light source. It's not really blown out, but if I bring the exposure way down, there's really nothing there to work with. So I think I'm just gonna blow this whole thing out and just go for a high cube look overall. Drop the clarity a bit, kind of give it a dreamy look a bit. Hey, All Wheel TV, thank you very much for the dono, my man. I appreciate that. Okay, so shot at f1.8 for that. It's okay, now I see it now that I kind of scan around. I don't know what's playing right now, but it needs to stop. Oh, it's because I typed in half light to get to the photo, and now it. Oh, and it played whatever the hell this was. Copyright strike incoming. Uh, let me get to my likes. We found like an EP or something. All right, vapor trap. There we go. All right. Can kind of give this one a high key type of tone. So let's desaturate a bit. These orange cones gotta go. Hey, Tears actually has sent me some of his tunes before, and I used one of his uh, for Tunery by Miami. I definitely, I know the song you're talking about, I definitely want to use it. Whoever the Russian man is that just subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. If you are in here, say what's up to everybody. Oh, there we go. A little blue on... want to get the right spot. All right, shadows need a little love. All right, back down and up. All right, let's send this out. Where did I export it to? Oh, I exported JPEG, my bad. Everyone in this chat better be drinking water. I hope you're all hydrated. Let me delete that JPEG real quick. All right, first things first. I think this is blurred out enough and far away enough that we can get away with cloning it out and not doing a, a sort of bang up job on it. Corben's uh, to send me a photo, the email's in the description, housingphoto.live at gmail.com. Send it through. Okay, all right. I was worried about this texture going on here, making this look kind of weird, but I think we're okay. All 
I hear the money counter. I love driving slow. Whoa, Roscoe, my dude. Thank you very much for the $25 donation. I appreciate that a lot. I would love to work with you again. You're a cool guy. And the vibes are uh, the vibes are good. And then back to back, handsome, 20. Man, you don't have to do that. I appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. Do you guys like the uh, money counter sound effect that goes off? Because you should listen to the sound effect that goes off when you join the member channel. Right below the video. Toby Snow, thank you very much for the $2 donut. I have not been to Germany, uh, my girlfriend has. I would definitely love to check it out, check out some of the cars there. And I would definitely like to go for uh, Berlin's underground music scene. Because my, my lady said it was popping. So I'd love to check it out. Especially since I know that scene kind of caters more to uh, the music I'm into rather than the clubs here in New York, which are like top 40 music. Okay, that's one down. This is going to be interesting because we have the shape of the GTR to work around. Uh, let's see where we, we go with this one. Corbins, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Dylan, what's up, man? If I can continue this body line, then we will be in okay shape. Mims Honda date the Nurburgring. All right, let's make that happen, my man. I'm ready. I, when I'm working on clone stamping like this, I always find it good to kind of recenter myself, zoom out, and see if it's already looking like it's gonna work or it's not, and I need to reapproach my uh, way of going about it. But I think we're doing okay here. I know it kind of looks like chaos at first, but it, it cleans up as you keep going. We need to take it back a few steps. Oh, Ashley, you're gonna move over to Berlin? What? Uh, is is Tech Ahmed? Um, my first camera close. It was a Nikon D90. So it was the first digital SLR to do video. And that's basically what got me started there. All right, I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time. And there we go. There we go. Now we're all sorted here. You guys are just watching me murk this on screen. I think what might be easier here. Just taking all that usable information over. So you see how right in this area it's very dark and then underneath it we have all this light information. So what we'll do here, get a level adjustment, bring up the mids, kind of feather it in. I'm gonna go with a decent sized brush, drop the opacity. And let's even up the brush size a little more here. There we go. This side's starting to blend.
Corbin's, what is my cat's name? My cat's name is Olive. We were gonna name our cat Oliver if we got a boy, but we got a girl, so just drop the R. It was easy. But she's great. All right, my clone stamp's being funky. There we go. So I'm gonna leave that for now. And when I work on this after stream, before I send it back over to Nero, I will clean that up proper. Cause we still got a lot to work on. I hear the money counter. All wheel TV, thank you very much again. I appreciate that. You have a safe time at work. Stay safe out there. Oh, yes, you can't see me because the camera died. So let me get another battery. Okay, thank you guys for letting me know. Appreciate that. The uh, A7R2 battery, even when it's plugged into a USB source, typically only lives for about two hours. I've had, but I've had that battery for a pretty long time. So it might be just uh, old age. All right, here's the uh, VMAP battery. I keep for it to charge up. So back to it. I'm not getting through nearly as many photos as I thought, but that's okay. We'll just do more streams. Roscoe, have a good night, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for the dono. That's going to be a process. Let's uh, jump back to our main focus point here. All right, so let's uh, let's emphasize. I hear the money counter. It's my girlfriend, everybody. Uh, 
uh, tips for any gimbal really I would just focus on um, playing with the pan and deadband settings of each gimbal every manufacturer no matter um, who or what type of gimbal one hand or two hand gimbal uh, they all have different settings for the reaction how fast it reacts um, how much pressure it uses to do that I would definitely play around with that uh, I would find a big open space uh, put something in the middle say like go to a field with your friend and try and do a full 360 around them and if it's smooth all the way through you found like the legit setting also make sure the camera is balanced properly uh, the camera should be able to be balanced without the gimbal being turned on man I would love to photoshop this Subaru out All right, don't judge me yet. I just want to see if this is going to work. I wonder if I can take this, straighten it out. Possibly, I'm not totally sure. Oh, nope. But hey, it's important to try, right? All right, I'm gonna play with this more off stream. This is kind of where we're at right now. So before and after. Oh, one thing I will notice is, uh, so if you guys shoot totally open and kind of into a bright light source like this, you will definitely get chromatic aberration. Uh, in the majority of cameras so an easy fix for that as long as there are no other magentas in the image you can just go hue saturation magentas and drop them all the way down this photo is really uh, clean and white so I don't have to worry about the desaturating the magentas anywhere else alright so off camera I will work on getting rid of these poles and I'll tweak it a little bit and then all the before and afters I'm gonna post on my Instagram probably tomorrow so if you want to see the full result of everything uh, check in on my Instagram tomorrow and as well next week before we start the next stream I will review all these ones over again so thank you Nero for submitting appreciate it a lot great photo oh you're talking about those panels Ugh. my only problem is the fence up here that could I will play with that later or if I can make enough information out of what's on going on right here I might be able to make that work all right I'm showing you guys all the goods of the stream uh, let's see what's all right I'm gonna do this one because uh, I will not showing you guys yet all right I'm gonna do this one because you cannot tell me this isn't the hardest Volvo in the game. Good lord. Look at that. Alright, so this submission is from Kevin Verhue. Uh, definitely didn't say the last name right. I'm very sorry. His IG username is Kev underscore Keen if you want to check out his Volvo. Alright, let's get to work. So, I know he's from Europe somewhere. I don't know where. But let's go with kind of a vintage classy French looking kind of color grade I watched some French movie with my girlfriend last night and I really like the color in it so we'll go with something like that it's kind of like pinkish reddish highlights this car is so hard all right uh, we have some resolution to work with so let's play with the crop give ourselves a little more zoom This thing makes you want a Volvo so bad. It's Tiak. Thank you for correcting me on the pronunciation of your name. I'll remember it for next time. Alright, have a safe trip home, Nero.
Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the submission. What if I did that? Good, right? I'm kidding. All right, let's warm it up a tad. I would really like to work on what's going on here, but I, I don't know if there's, I might be able to take all of this on the driver door and translate it to the back, but I don't know. Oh, I see that AccuAir air freshener. RIP AccuAir. I hear the money counter. Hey, looks like it's Milkman. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I hope you are enjoying the stream. Hope you all are enjoying the stream. All right, let's fade the gamma up a bit. Kind of like a, a mat. I just want to look at this preset here. Because that's kind of the look I want, but I don't want to go straight for the preset. All right, let's drop saturation through the board. Except for red, because of the tail light. Let the tail light and the uh, little center caps pop. Let's switch up the vibe here. Would you guys like me to play this uh, playlist of SoundCloud memes? Istiak, yes. So, if you, uh, in addition in your submissions as well, guys, if you want to submit. Cars that aren't your own, that's totally fine. Uh, if you want me to tag the owner, uh, give me their tag and all that, and I will include that in the file name. That way everyone sees it. All right, let's go with this one. I'm not actually going to play the playlist of memes. Just search uh, SoundCloud memes and look for that thumbnail and it'll take you on a quite a ride, guys. Mims on today, right down in the video description, right below. Let me just uh, double check for you. Yes, so in the description below it says submit videos for next week's stream. Uh, that also applies to submitting photos. Um, housingphoto.live at gmail.com Hey Francis, tell your brother Jonah what is up. So I'm trying to get a good mix of the contrast but also the... All right, let us export this one. Hey, Brett, what's going on, man? Uh, Matthew, I have seen your photo of the Evo 5. I have it downloaded. Uh, it might be in this week's stream. It might be in next week's stream. There it 
There we go. That's the color I'm looking for. It works so much better in Photoshop over Lightroom to kind of do the final color adjustments. All right. So that's kind of where I want to be with this one. Kind of like an old French vibe. Osvaldo, yes, I'm very sorry. I wasn't at uh, Tuning of Chicago this past year. All right, let's uh, before, after, and Photoshop. So this one is done. We can go ahead and save this to our primary edited folder. Uh, Gabe, so not this week. Next week we'll do another photo editing stream and it in addition to that, we are going to do a video review stream. All right, so I'm going to toss up something a little different before we get deep in the cars again. Uh, so typically, um, I was only going to accept automotive photos, but my friend Nick uh, took a helicopter ride over Manhattan at sunrise, and I think it's too good of a shot not to include in this stream, and it gives us a little taste of something different. So we have a Canon RAW file at ISO 250, 16 mil at f2.8, 1,600 of a second. Pretty sharp, good detail. Uh, so what kind of vibe can we go with this? You know, with everything going on, let's uh, go with a vibe to reflect what it kind of like feels like to be in the city right now. I had a job at a BMW dealer in Manhattan the other day, and like walking around was like it was like cool to like see the streets empty, but like it was also kind of creepy to a sense. Yeah, so this one comes from Nicholas Yi, uh, Nicholas Yi photo underscore at on Instagram. Nick, if you are still in here, this is you. So I kind of want to create like a center point of darkness right around here. Oh, definitely not that. My mouse does not like me. Hey, there he is. What's up, Nick? Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's get rid of the red and oranges, kind of keep that cool tone going. Oh, you know what? I was, can you not kick the mouse? I was doing hue and not saturation. She's gonna walk on the keyboard. Oh. You wanna be on stream? Say hello to everybody. Oh, camera's out of focus. There we go. Okay, back to work. Wait, now that we're in focus, come here. So this is Olive, the source of destruction every time I try and set up the uh, live stream set. Okay, so I was actually accidentally doing the hue sliders, but I like the shift of blue to aqua just a little bit. But I'm trying to drop the saturation overall. Just 
bring a little bit of warmth back in. Yeah. All right, let's send this over to Photoshop. Yeah, Francis, that's a very good point. And that's exactly the whole point of the stream, you know? All right, so one thing I do want to fix is he did shoot it with a 16 mil. So we have a little bit of barrel distortion. I mean, it might honestly just be the curvature of the earth uh, throwing the horizon off of the ends a bit. Uh, but I do want to kind of skew it a little bit to straighten out the horizon. I did it again, guys. Ah, oh, I am sorry. All right, so we are back in Photoshop. Uh, all I did was use Edit Transform Skew to straighten out the horizon here. Because honestly, it might be the curvature of the earth that was making the edges of the photo sink. Uh, but I just kind of want to straighten out, clean it up a bit. See, I want to keep the apocalyptic vibe going here. So I'm going to toss a little more blue in. Swipe it with the dodge brush a bit. A little too much. All right, let's uh, crop it and call it done. So let's take a look at before. No, I'll just reset it, honestly. So before, beautiful shot on its own, but I kind of want to reflect the mood of what New York City feels like right now. So cold and whatever you guys want to make of it, honestly. Let's save this one and move on to the next one. Uh, the monitors I use, I honestly don't recommend. I'm looking into getting uh, like an ultra wide right now. Okay. All right, let's do this one because I know this can be a fun one. So we got this photo from a friend in Vegas screen got this photo from a friend in Vegas kitty chai media with this very nice FRS and looks like he did some light painting on it so there's a lot of room to work with so ISO 50 30 second shutter so we know this is gonna be super clean let's get to work on it kitty chai if you are still in here say what is up Evolve Media, uh, I mean, I definitely have 
ideas and tips that could uh, help you out. Uh, we'll probably go over that more on the video review stream or in the member only live streams because there will be much fewer people in those streams and we can just kind of hang out and address questions there if you would be interested in joining the member only section. If not, um, we'll probably go over it more on the video centric streams. It's just like color grading isn't kind of like a blanket thing that you can describe in one way. So it's better to like for you to share some screen grabs with me and then we can uh, go over it from an editing perspective uh, live. All right. So let's see where we can bring up the exposure and not make the car look weird by dropping the highlights. Handsome, you're too much. It is a very small mouse pad. Thank you for the dono. Maybe I will get myself a better mouse pad. All right, great stuff here. Tack sharp. All right, so he just dropped the uh, camera info. So this is from an S2, not an R2. Uh, 2870 at 28 A mount, but using an adapter. Still looks very good. All right, so let's get this over. Jack just changed his downpipe while watching the stream like it was nothing. Feel free to come over and work on my car if a downpipe on a GTI or Mark 7, I'm assuming it's GTI, um, is that easy for you. All right, I'm just going to do another exposure of the same shot just so I can bring this in. Uh, looks like we have some ghosting here from the light panel used, but uh, let's see what we can work with. Z4 forever, Z4 ever, SG, Singapore. Uh, first of all, what is up from Singapore? And we are using Photoshop and Lightroom both from Adobe. Jasper, what's up? Get that language out of here before we ban you. That's not TOS, my dude. All right. So absolutely great photo. Great use of the light. Uh, my only thing is the streaks from the light. So when you guys are light painting, uh, it's best to have, you know, if you have someone else with you, you're fortunate enough to have that. Um, it's best for you to stay at the camera and have them do the light painting. That way you can watch what parts of the body the light is hitting. For example, let me make a little brush here. So like if I was light painting this car, I'd want the light to be kind of like at 12 o'clock noon over the car. So it's light painting only the edges, so to speak. Because cars are designed and built to be lit, to look like they're being lit by the sun. And, you know, that's when they look best is when the sun or a light source is directly down on top of it. But otherwise, I mean, this still looks great. And the light painting does wonders for exposing the detail in the wheel well and on the wheel itself. All right, first things first, uh, let's get rid of some reflections. My girlfriend just made food and it smells so good and I can't have it right now. What happened to the tunes?
right, I guess since the cat's not here, I can take the bed off the table and get the mouse a little further away from the mic for y'all. Alright, so I can still see a little bit of the spots I cloned, but we can always go back later and correct that. Uh, a while after you have been staring at a computer screen, your eyes will get fatigued and kind of adjust to the light output of the screens. And often, if you edit something for you know an hour straight and you walk away for a little bit and you come back, you'll see stuff that you did not see before. So on really important projects, it's always not a bad idea to kind of take a little break and then come back to it. All right. Let's see if we can cheat the system a little bit here. Hey, Mango Media, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. All right, so we need to get rid of this, and we have all this perfectly... Uh, clean body panel here. Only difference is when we bring this over, I'm going to flip it. And we're just going to kind of toss it there a little bit. Uh, the exposure is totally different because the light source is hitting here, so it's much brighter. So we are going to work with our level tool to bring that kind of where we need to be. I'm looking for this hard line here to kind of disappear and then that's where I, I know I kind of need to be alright so we'll hide it for a bit let's see I don't need anything past this point and don't need anything past here So now let's grab the eraser and kind of blend our way back. Oh, too much. So my eyes are actually kind of like burn a little bit from staring at the white. Ooh. There we go. Could use a little bit more tonal balance to kind of even out how pure the white is. And I'm actually still seeing a little bit of it. But let's merge it down. And then go back to the clone. Tyler Gunter... Gun, yeah, Gunter. Um, so if you'd like to submit photos or videos for the stream, we'll be doing both. Uh, not editing for video, but we'll be reviewing both photos and video. Uh, the emails in the description is housingphoto.live at gmail.com. Bond, uh, what I just said, yeah. Housingphoto.live, submit your photos, submit your videos. And uh, right now we're kind of backlogged on a lot of submissions, so... Uh, it might be a few streams before we get to anything that is submitted uh, right now, but we will absolutely do it at some point, whether that takes uh, one stream, two streams, three streams. Uh, it's looking like we'll have plenty of time to do so. And even after things pick up, after uh, coronavirus kind of calms down, I still do want to plan on doing these regularly. All right, so I want to get rid of these light paint strips here. Uh, you can tell from the top we have a totally different exposure than what's going on down here. So what we're going to do is create kind of 
extra layers of both. And blend them together. Kind of like painting a car, I guess, if anyone here is an auto painter. It's like we're trying to make the right shade. Z Forever Singapore, have a good night, my man. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Stay safe out there. Okay, so I see what I need after zooming out. So I'm going to merge these down because I know where I need to go from here. Adrian, what's up, man? Nova Scotia, that's pretty cool. Thank you for tuning in. It's always hard working with like super bright cars because you kind of like reset your eyes a little bit. Amelia, how you doing tonight? So we have this kind of warmer white and this cooler white here and the transition between two is pretty rough which is almost okay because of the flare of the body kit but I need to smooth it out a little bit. So I'm going to take this warmer white, clone it and then with a light opacity just kind of come down the line here. That will help make a, an even blend of it. There we go. And then there's just this little part right here we gotta worry about. Ferrari La Ferrari, I can't read that, but thanks for tuning in. I would just blend that little part right there. All right. Have you guys noticed that the camera's been moving this whole time? Toby, that's a good idea. I think on the a future edition of this, we'll I won't edit anything. We'll just kind of go over the edits. All right. So we also have this brighter exposure here. Whoop. All right, we are getting a lot of emails, so we will definitely have enough streams to go for a bit. Thanks to all you guys. Thank you for submitting. Thank you for checking out the stream. Thank you for hanging out. We appreciate it. Or I appreciate it, rather. All right. So my problem with this brighter exposure is these light trails over here, but I think we can just go ahead and crop the overall image over to kind of work our way around that. Tyler, uh, at least send me an email for now with a link to your Instagram. That way I can kind of categorize you into uh, more of like a photo review. And then when I have enough stuff or like content to do an entire photo review stream, uh, I'll have your information for that. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that. That's pretty cool. Alright, 
last thing that's bugging me is all these buildings are crooked. Oh. And this street light. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, let's fix that. It's going to be interesting because we have these string lights all going to it. So we need to keep those, but we need to lose street light. Yeah, NEF files are fine. Uh, ARWs are fine. Um, CR2s are fine. Basically, any raw file from any camera is totally cool. All right. So clone stamping isn't really going to work here because of this perfectly symmetrical pattern. So we are just going to take all of this useful data. I need to know what is playing right now because it's very good. Ah, that explains it. All right, so these are not lined up. That would make sense because the floors that are higher up are further away from the camera, so their spacing is gonna be a little bit different. So let's see. Uh, ghosting is pretty, I mean, we can like work our way around it with cloning, but uh, it might just be easier to crop that part of the image out. So no problem there. We just have the light strings go into a whole lot of nothing. And now that I think about it, without a pole there, there's really nothing for them to hang on to. Hmm. I'm debating what to do. Should we just leave it like that? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's let's get away from there for a minute, just kind of like free our eyes up. Uh, so we do have some ghosting up here. We can see about cloning our way through that. kind of knock the whole thing down a bit. Otherwise, aside from this, like this photo is absolute heat, kid shy. Wild. All right, you guys are coming in super deep with these submissions. We are going to be very busy <laughs> with uh, all that. So thank you. There we go. We got to straighten out those buildings a little bit. So I'm kind of using that as my guide. So this is where we're at before and somewhere right there. All right. 
Let's merge all that down. By the way, I'm a little too far on the uh, skewing. Keep the aspect ratio, bring over the good information. We just gotta fix our little eraser mistake. And then we have that building creeping in the corner. I just wanna get rid of that. Two thousand fourteen Fiesta, hell yeah. Those are fun cars. All right. So that's a little rust right there. I'll we'll clean that up further after the stream. All right. Let's see about the yellow. There's a lot of it. I'd like there to be less of it, so. Let's do a little something like that. See if a hue shift towards a different color. Ooh, we we'll go with a little cyberpunk theme. If you guys are getting a laggy stream, uh, let me know in the comments. Let's go with a little something like that. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, stream should be up to optimal viewing at this point. All right, let's go, you know what, just because we can, let's go with a look like this. Because why not? You know, that's the fun part about it. So I'm gonna save this for future editing before setting it off. Thank you very much, Kid Chai, for submitting this wonderful photo. Everyone check him out. If you are still in here, Kid Chai, say your name to everybody. You're at. Okay. Whoop. All right, so I am a little bit behind over the overall schedule. So let's try and speed up just a little bit. I don't want to rush anybody's photo because we will have more streams to work with. So let's go with a drifting shot to change up the pace here. This one comes from us. Uh, this is the only information I got, YSK. Uh, YSK, if you're in here, say what's up. Cool shot. 
uh, we got to get rid of this guy because he's in a terrible spot. So let's brighten it up a bit. This one looks pretty great out of the box. Great composition. Uh, let's rotate it just a hair to straighten out the horizon. I mean, sometimes Dutch horizons can work in drifting photos. It's all really personal preference. Like, that's kind of cool. But uh, for me, I'm going to go with a straight horizon. Song right now is True Losses by ZNTS. This is actually super good. I'm going to save that for future use. Did not mean to crop in so much. Yeah, Lorenus, like, very fair point. Uh, spot healing tool definitely can do wonders, but uh, I find often when doing light streaks on cards, it cannot pull the right shade I need to replace in that light streak. Like, for example, if the light streak was here and I used the uh, healing brush to paint over it, it wouldn't pull the shade that would blend it in with the paint above and below it, so that's why I do it manually. I'm not a fan of Lightroom's healing brush. And like I no matter what, I bring all my photos into Photoshop anyway. So it's just easier for me to do it there. Let's kind of give this a warm, happy drift day vibe. I don't know what this is. See, like, there is no problem. So the majority of my editing is done in Photoshop. Everything I do in Lightroom is basically just stuff you can do in camera for the most part. Uh, but a lot of my work revolves around layers and compositing. So that's where the majority of stuff goes down really. Let's see. Yeah, like see, for like for stuff like this in Photoshop, the healing tool does pretty great. But when it comes to Lightroom, I, I don't know, I can never get it to like stay consistent. Let's see, this might be too much data for it to, yeah. We'll just pull like a whole fresh thing of information over here. The overall exposure it might be a bit different but that shouldn't be a problem to adjust
All right, I'm gonna jump to this view. That way, if the stream updates for you guys, uh, you'll know. Okay. So I muted the mic that way in case while well, I was trying to figure out what was going on with the internet, uh, you guys wouldn't hear me being super annoyed. Uh, so we're back. Stream is good. Audio is good. I appreciate you guys for dealing with me. The stream has been smoother than the last two, that's for sure. So by the fourth one... We'll be chilling. All right, let's save this one out. All right, since all you guys hung out through the uh, stream drop there, let's work on two more unless the stream drops again. In that case, uh, there will be no more. But uh, all right, so we got another one coming through. Uh, I chose this one simply because the setting was very unique out of everything I got. It's right in the center of a city. Cool supercar, uh, vertical shot, so a good amount to work with. All 
All right, so this one is by Lewis Morris Media. I believe you are still in here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Great shot. Uh, I love the composition. It's a little off off axis, but maybe you're going for that. Uh, personally, for me, I would love straightening out. I'm sure you did in your edit. Because I feel like I remember seeing it. But otherwise, this is really cool. Great choice of location. Great use of the foreground here. Get the tunes on. All right, my bad, my bad. Here we go. Tunes on. There we go. Oh, let's play stuff by the boys at Sakai. There we go. All right. So I'm going to start first things first with uh, just bringing the axis back to center here. Lewis Morris, uh, what city is this in, if you don't mind sharing it? I've, it has a London vibe, but uh, don't know for sure. I'm warming up a little bit. All right, so we have ISO 1600, 35 millimeter F14. Wow, this is actually pretty dang sharp through the board for a uh, 1.4. 250 of a second. I personally would have dropped the ISO to go with a higher uh, and go with a lower shutter just to kind of retain that detail a bit. But uh, 1600 isn't terrible. Crop a little more. I want to keep some of the foreground without it being like, what is that? All right, let's see if I can bring out this rear end at all. It's getting a little noisy, so I won't be able to push it too hard. I'll just warm it up. Maybe put some vignette on it, honestly. Let's see. I honestly hardly ever put vignette on stuff, but I don't mind it here. Yeah, let's go something like that. Let's head over to Photoshop. Super clean image. If I owned like a dealership and you shot this for my dealership, I would be totally stoked. Maybe let's do a little something with uh, what's going on here, this light. Leicester. That sounds like an interesting place. So I put a feather of 15 on the lasso, and I just want to colorize this yellow light. See we can uh, what we can do with it here. Maybe make it like a red to go with the tail lights. I love that there's a giant big red B in here. <laughs> All right, just gonna pop out the dodge brush, do a little work up here. Because one thing I do feel like about this photo is that, like there are a lot of elements in here and they're all fighting for your attention, especially when it's like 30 feet tall like that. So we want to kind of keep more of our attention on the car. So I want to darken this down a bit. A 
Maybe we'll do like a subtle. Ooh, nope. Reflections look pretty good. I mean, that's very surprising that you, considering you're in a city. Uh, let's just clean up a wee bit here and there. See, like, even just getting rid of a small little bump in the reflection there makes a world of difference when it comes to just, like, looking at the car as a whole. At least in my opinion. I love this reflection right here. Uh, looks like we got a street light of some sort right there. So let's just... Boop, 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 boop. Get rid of that. Otherwise, I'm looking at stuff in this photo and it just looks solid. Not too much uh, more I would go crazy on. Maybe just that guy right there. Otherwise, great shot, Lewis. Looks really good, really clean. If there's anything else I tweak about it, I will do that off stream before I send it over to you. So here, a little look at before. As before on the left. Kind of just color balanced it out, made it a little warmer, less of that blue tone. Vignette, a uh, little bit of cleanup, change this light up just because uh, darken the top, that way our focus falls more down towards the car, and that's it. Hey, we got T-Mass Photo in here, man, what's up? I haven't seen you in forever, my dude. And Mike Cozio's in here, back to back, back to back. All right. Let's take care of one more before I think, uh, I'm not gonna end the stream, but I'm at least gonna stop editing because my eyes are starting to kinda feel the fatigue of staring at the screen for so long. All right, let's pick a good one. All right, you guys are gonna pick this one. Pagani or Mark V Supra? Let me know. Let me make sure my camera's still in focus. Yeah. Again, that is Pagani or Mark V Supra. So I'm noticing that this now, uh, the lag on the stream is pretty intense. 
so if you guys type uh, your react your answer for Pagani or Mark V Supra and I haven't responded to it yet, the lag is pretty extreme. I think right now it's probably somewhere around 30, 40 seconds. All right, Pagani, 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 Pagani. All right, there it is. The people have spoken. All right, so we have a beautiful, absolutely beautiful Pagani shot here. Uh, this one is by Bankrupt Media of a Pagani Zonda. And it's looking good, nice big file, raw Sony file. It, look, it looks like it's in Italy somewhere. I don't know. I don't know what kind of license plate that is, but it's uh, it's not here. Oh, okay, so it was shot with a the Sony 28-70, looks like. 55 mil, f5, 1 400 of a second. Super clean, super nice. I love it. I think let's just make it a little more elegant. Uh, so we got a lot of negative space going on, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I'm going to kind of crop in to bring the car up to the the thirds here because right now it's falling in the dead center of the image uh, so I want it to kind of just fall more in the thirds here maybe a little wider Wars <laughs> Warzone please come be out come be our fourth me Jay Zach oh man why you got to do me like that Guys, Chris is trying to get me to leave the stream to play Warzone with him. I mean, honestly, I don't think you guys would be mad. But I still got to download and install it. It would be like tomorrow by the time that's over. Oh, man, Zach, why you got to do that? Okay, Bond, thank you for confirming that this is the UK. Oh, that's what I was looking for, and I did it by accident. I was looking for just like a nice, calming yellow. A little more space. Oh, I'm liking that. A little more less subtle. Get away from the green bit. Yo, someone get this man some fitment. Yikes. I mean it's Pagani, so but still, like come on. Alright, let's send this over to Photoshop. You already know we gotta get rid of those signs back there. I would totally play on stream, but not here on YouTube, because I would definitely get downloaded to all, all hell. But I don't even, I don't even own it, so I would need to buy it, download it, and then it would probably need updates. All right, first things first. Let's see if the brush will take care of it. Oh. I'm very down to squat up, but I don't have a game to squat up with, so. Okay, that did a fantastic job. So, uh, I forget your name earlier. You're saying use the healing brush, and I was like, nah, bro, you were right. Oh, we got a little funky here. Nice. 
Nope. Yeah, like a uh, stream on Twitch, I mean. Something of that nature. All right, Lewis Morris, thank you very much for hanging out and thank you for sending your photo in. Uh, we are doing a video stream next, so feel free to uh, send any of your videos in, man. Because I know you'll be shooting them. Yeah, Bond, I actually do have a Twitch. If you look in the bottom left of the screen there through the social media scrolls, uh, my Twitch link is there. It's the same uh, username, Helsing Photo. Uh, I plan on st to start using it soon to uh, kind of break these streams in half. Like I'll do a few hours here, I'll do a few hours on Twitch. And then I also want to stream uh, music production over there because I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, but I can't really stream that here because it wouldn't really fit the uh, the vibe. Oh, I had no idea Warzone was free. Okay. Nope. That ain't it, Chief. To be honest, this is getting kind of hard <laughs> with my eyes. <sighs> yeah, send videos to the same email, email guys. That needs a little more work than I can uh, focus on right now. So I think I'm gonna pause on this image. I'm not gonna end the stream yet, I'll hang out for a bit, uh, but I do need to actually get to work on a client video. Yes, Jack, exactly the same way. Sorry if I'm blowing out the mic. Yeah, my eyes are cooked, boys. Absolutely cooked. Bond, thank you for uh, following over on Twitch. How long have we been at it? Ah, three hours almost on the dot. So here's a little project I'm working on for the evening, uh, delivering this tomorrow. A little like BMW uh, dealer type type stuff, going over the features of the vehicle for clients who buy their cars uh, during COVID-19, but they can't actually like go to the dealer to learn about how they work. So we shot all this the uh, uh, Saturday. And just kind of going through that stuff now. Uh, I got some pretty interesting B-roll we can look at. RJ, what's up, dude? Uh, Arcelon, uh, basically just pick, like having a camera, and I was into photography first before I got into cars, and then once I got into cars, it just, just kind of happened, you know?
Alright boys, I'm going to get a glass of water, and then when I come back we can just hang out, you guys can ask me stuff if you want, and whatever, you know. I'm going to get some water, stay hydrated. everyone use that opportunity to get some water stay hydrated proper hydration is the key to feeling good it's my favorite car I ever shot I'll... honestly let's see let's see if I get the there it is close these out Honestly, this is still one of my favorite videos. Uh, I love RSXs, and this one's equipped with the full race turbo setup. Wow, why am I at 720p? Alright, 1440 ain't gonna happen right now. You get the point. If you've seen the video, uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite ones. And car as well. Full race turbo setup. Video shooting setup, so I have two. Uh, I have a Sony A7R2 kit and then a Kinfinity Terra kit. Um, the Sony is shooting this right now, so I can't show that to you, but. This is the other kit here, so this is just the uh, the body of the camera right here, and then um, have this with some Canon lenses. Uh, right now the camera is on, if you look close enough, the camera is actually on a motion slider right now, so it's on the Rhino slider with the Arc 2. Cars do I currently own? A Kia Soul is my daily, and then I have two Neons at home there, just project cars that... Uh, need some time <laughs> yeah so speaking of progress on it there hasn't been much um, basically all the shops uh, I need a lot of stuff power coded I need a lot of stuff stripped down and all the shops are running on minimal staff so I can't really get anything sent out for work right now um, so what I've been doing is prepping the under chassis uh, for restoration basically so pulling the brake lines the fuel lines uh the exhaust that way the entire underbody can be coated and resprayed so it's like factory fresh but i did just get these today <sighs> why they gotta do me like that i don't even know my instagram password it's been so long Jeez. All right. Well, on my Instagram story are these uh, window vents from Visual Auto Works. 
Let me see if he posted them. Really? What is my Instagram password? I've been logged into it so long, I like have no idea. No clue. But I got uh, the window vents they make, except he cut the Lucky Cat into it, so it looks super cool. Uh, just kind of collecting small parts for now until we can get more going, because I need to buy a welder and sheet metal to start welding the and shaving the engine bay. But every time I've gone to Home Depot, the line is literally like around the parking lot, which is crazy. Thank you very much for subscribing, uh, Jake with an X. If you are here, say what's up. Yeah, we used this camera on the Valley of Fire video of J. Cray's LC, and then there were a few shots, inserts of from Chris's red, his red Gemini. So anyone that's still in here that submitted a photo that did not see it be edited or get edited tonight, um, I thought I would take about 10 minutes with, with each photo and I took a lot more time with each one than I had anticipated. And there were over about 100 submissions. So I do have the other 10 that I chose for this stream that will be first come uh, on the next stream. So there's uh, I think about 10 or 11 still waiting. Um, to be edited that were supposed to be for the stream. So those will be first thing uh, for the next stream. I will just name those people now. That way you guys know if you'll be in the beginning of the next stream or not. So the people I wanted to get to tonight as well were Alexander Blasting Game with this uh, cool bike composite layer. Um, Andre with this bike shot. Charlie Main with this Mark V Super Edit. Dallas Mills with this One Series. Uh, Cher with this uh, NSX Shot. Uh, Dominic with this Accord. Eric Addy with this uh, HDR of this BMW Wagon. Lawrence with this uh, cool WRX Shot. I really like this. Kevin with this E30. And Raw Cult with this Type R. So those images will be... Oh, wait. There's one more. One more. Uh, I do not know Russian. Uh... Okay, um, not sure where it is, but if you light painted the Fiat 500 or the Abarth, uh, that one will also be priority in this stream or the following one. So I will do those 10 or so in the next stream, and then there's literally 115 something total submissions. So those will be broken up into more following streams. I tried to do a variety of, uh, of content between daytime shots, nighttime shots, rolling shots, static shots, things shot with a phone, things shot with a really nice camera with lights. Uh, I just want to give variety and different skill set for each one. Other than that, if you guys want to submit anything, photo or video, the emails in the description is halcyonphoto.live at gmail.com. If you would be interested in becoming a member of the channel, the link for that is just below the video. It says join where we will do once a month member only live streams, a private discord server for chat, exclusive updates, badges, emojis, all that good stuff. So we can go a lot more over photo and video critiquing if you're looking for more advice on a more consistent basis rather than the just the uh, images. Oh, that was you. Uh, two quick picks who shot the Fiat. Yes, you are in the next one as well. Uh, not sure where I put it, but it's in there. But because it was a composite, I'd like put it in its own folder. Um, 